Hello, beautiful beings. It's me, Jasmine Charles here, one of the ladies of Inspire Fire. As always, we're bringing you everything you need to ensure that your soul is fed. We dive deep to help create the best habits for living your most abundant life ever. So are you ready? Let's get it. I'm glad you caught that. Show stopping. Show stopping. <laughs> Show for you guys <laughs> today. Do you know your why? Do you know your why? The purpose, the cause, the belief for what you do, what and why you do what you do. Yeah. Right. So basically, this podcast today is about knowing your why. So we have a million things we want to do, you know, whether you want to be a basketball player an entrepreneur, a YouTuber, an engineer, a doctor, a lawyer. Why do you want to do these things? Because essentially knowing your why can lead you to success mm-hmm. or it can reevaluate you to know, wait, is this really something I want to do? Right. Or, is this even truly for you? Right. Might not be your why. Your why might be for something else. So mm-hmm. let's dive in deep like infinite waters. As he would rap smart. Shout out. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess the first thing... I guess I want to ask all of us, why is it important to know your why? Amazing question. If you know your why, it will bring a foundation. It would, it's a blueprint. It will give you the drive that you need to go about your day-to-day basis. It'll be that fuel so that you can have the strength to endure on when the times do get rough because they actually do. But having that Mm. why in the back of your mind, even in the front of your mind, it will literally give you the courage, the strength, the all you, the fuel that you need so that you can make it through and achieve what you want to achieve. I totally agree with that. I wasn't even thinking that. Why, why would you say? So if you don't have your why, it's like, why are you living? <laughs> you know what I mean? I was, gonna True. Say. I was like, you don't want to look back, you mm. know, when you get older and like, okay, what? You know, you looking back on your, over your life, you want to be happy with the decisions that you made. You don't right. have any regrets. And I feel like it's, and that's why it's important to know your why. Because at the end, you know, when it, when your time comes and you know, the end, you want to be able to say, I did everything mm-hmm. that you know, made me happy. I followed my dream. Mm. You know, I made the most right. of this life that I was given. Exactly. That is important. One of my whys is because I want to live a life of abundance. Mm. I can't be, I feel like, trapped in a life that I don't want to live, right? We only have one life, right? Mm. And so you want to live it to your best abilities. And your why is, is kind of like your purpose. What's your purpose for living? Um, so... Any other reasons why you think it's important? That's pretty. That's pretty a big thing. That really <laughs> and, is. You know your purpose. Ah, life is all about purpose. Mm-hmm. Um, any other reasons why knowing your why is important? Well, w- me, my why is very, very personal. And like you were saying, it's pretty much your purpose and to live a life of abundance. And I think about that Mm -hmm. quite often about just how I really, really want to see myself live a life of abundance. And then I dove a little deeper than I understood that my why is because I understand that everybody has um, a mental, we have the same mental playing field, playing field. And what I mean by that is, so there are so many people that can be not content with their life. And we'll just use a really simple analogy like children. So if you have siblings and like there's, I've, I've had friends that have like six siblings. So their family is seven. And then I've had friends that's the only child. Mm-hmm. And so some of the, the, the only child complains about not having anybody to play with. And so they feel like, you know, I have 
so much adversity, quote unquote. And then the the friend that has six or seven siblings, they're like, I feel like I'm in the shadows. Nobody noticed me because there's so many siblings and I don't feel like my parents give me enough attention. And so this person's <laughs> wanting to be this and the next person's wanting to be that. So it's like understanding that we all have the same, everybody has their own things that can be thrown in their way to where they 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 feel that they can't do it or that all the the different adversities that life just kind of throws you but if we understand that everybody out there has the same their well not the same yes yeah. their own struggles exactly that everybody has their own struggles so it's like take that over to your why and then change your perception of your life like it's all about perception perception is so 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 key and it will help you build your why So can you give me like an example of that? Kind of lost me. Okay. So example of changing your perception with your struggles to discover your why? Yes. So I mean like, okay, you would change. So, okay, you say if your why is I want a life of abundance. Mm -hmm. And many people can't even see themselves living themselves living a life of abundance mm-hmm. and it is like why can't you see yourself it's because i have this i have this i have oh, that so if you, excuses. So it's yes. like, yeah but mm-hmm. so they have that but exactly uh-huh. that but after your why and uh-huh. it's like you have to eliminate that so because you're, you're gonna have a why no matter what whether you build it positively or build it negatively okay. and so if, even if you have a, a a not a life where you don't you're unfulfilled or not happy it's why is your life like that you still Mm -hmm. think about and you go why hmm it's because my perception i've i'm complaining about everything i'm not changing anything i'm constantly making my adversity the the whole um the whole pretty much the meat of why i'm not why i'm not successful so therefore you um into but up until you change your perception over to okay granted i have been dealt these cards life is the way it is for me but my perception is like okay instead of only focusing on why i'm not where i want to be it's like okay now let me build my why on what i want life to be like so you kind of enter you use your perception to build a why that pretty much works for you, you that drives yeah, you yeah i get it yeah. i get it you could your why could be negative in the aspect of uh i'm gonna do this so my family doesn't have to live here or so mm-hmm. we don't have to suffer through this anymore yes or your your adversities could could be your motivation so that, instead of letting it hinder you you can use it as your motivation right exactly exactly yeah. i love that, that. Mm, i like that yeah that's good that's true. I think that's like a lot of backing behind most people's wives because you mm-hmm. don't want you see your mother struggling, right. you see mm-hmm. people you love suffering or struggling. Like right. I gotta do better. I gotta provide for exactly a person that make that difference. And, yeah, and I can really relate to that because a huge, huge part of my why is I have a um I have I have five siblings mm-hmm. and um my uh my baby brother. I feel like that's, me and him have this great, great connection and I just love him to bits. Mm -hmm. And so when I just think back in my why, I just look back in my life and well, just look at my life now and I realize I'm grinding because I really, really want to be a helping hand in his life Mm -hmm. to just help him. And I just really want to splurge on him. I really do. Right. And just inspire him also to let him know that it is possible Like someone that I know that's very dear to me, very close to me to literally go and live a beautiful life of abundance. So I'm Mm -hmm. literally, I just grind and like, I know Beyonce is my girl, Mm -hmm. but it was this video um, when she was promoting the Ivy Park line and Mm -hmm. she was like, literally like, oh yeah, when I'm at... I can't remember. Do you remember the quote where she said she was talking about the park that she goes to? Yeah. And, how and, and she, it was a particular part on there. And yeah. she was just like, when I find myself, like I sing into my lungs hurt. Mm-hmm. I dance into my toes. And when she with, like and feels tired or something, she thinks is. about that one thing. That's her why. Yes. Yeah. And when she yeah. feels tired, she thinks about that person or that mm-hmm. thing or whatever matters most to her. And she just mm-hmm. see herself running to them. Yeah. And it's like, 
I think about not only just my brother, my um, my nieces and nephews. Mm-hmm. I love yeah. them so so much, and I just want to be that auntie, that dope yeah, auntie that I can splurge on them. Yes, yeah, and like, and I can just inspire them and like mm-hmm. show them that life, an abundant life, is very possible, mm-hmm. and I can definitely live that. And like, we made it type yeah. thing. Like, and I really find that to be a huge huge chunk of my why. And of course, my family. I think about like apart from just not, my biological family, they su- like sacrificed so much for me. And like, oh, I just I'm so thankful, grateful for my dad, my grandmother, my aunt, just everybody. And then I, I, if I just take it further back from there, it's just I think about my extended family, like. Right. Because you guys are my extended family. My Aww. friends from my... <laughs> no, you guys genuinely are. Nah, nah, for real. Like, for real, for real. <laughs> and, um, oh, it's just... I can list people to the end of time. It is just, just like... That's oh. amazing, though, that people... That's really good that people are your wife. And I think that's most of our reason is mm-hmm. people or family. And I think that's beautiful because we're all humans and we're all, all supposed to connect to each other. But I want to go backtrack real quick to that... Beyonce ad because mm-hmm. it really did strict, struck a chord in me when you were saying when she when she's feeling the struggle she mm-hmm. thinks back to her why so that's one of the reasons why it's important, so important to know your why because a lot of us we just give up when times get hard but if you have a strong why and a strong purpose to why you're doing things that gives you that extra oomph to mm-hmm. just keep going so if you do know your why and you're just ch- you're really chasing and going hard for your dreams and you just feel like it's not going nowhere you haven't made your breakthrough yet mm. just keep that why regular as your family member yourself your grandma you know keep that why in the back of your head so you can continuously push and mm. really get that what that life of abundance i think for mm-hmm. me it's also but just I see myself in the future having kids. So I do this yes. for my family, you know, for my family and for my future husband and for my yes. future kids. Yes. You better you know, speak. Uh, you're right. For them. That's so true because I really be thinking about my future kids. Like we all <laughs> all of us lay with inspired by our trips and doing stuff. Right. I would imagine like we do like visualizations when it strikes 11 11 we like text each other like 11 11 time to manifest and that's one of the things that i manifest is my kids and me working Mm. from home and me making healthy dinners for them and i i even manifest my man like coming up behind me and kissing me and (laughs) you know that's all motivation for what i want my life to be like while i'm grinding to be like be able to have my own freedom yeah. And uh, it is for, you know, my mm-hmm. future family. So I can spend time with my kids and mm-hmm. I can spend time with my husband and we could all be liberated. So you asked me what my why was. Wait, did you want to keep going with your why? Oh, okay. <laughs> you uh, asked me what my why was and it's three things. And first is me being selfish and um, wanting to feel free and liberated. Like, That's not selfish. I think we were right. meant to live that a life of freedom you're you're right that's not selfish we are meant to be free and unfortunately a lot of us aren't (laughs) um but yeah be free i really resonate with kanye when he says i just want to feel liberated like i know everybody that hits that so like even he still wants to be feel liberated like i really just want to be free i don't want to have to go to a job that i might like but it's not my purpose it's not my why is not fulfilling me. It's not giving me that fire, that is mm. fire, fire in my soul. And I was reading an article as well, I was doing research for this podcast, and they're saying one of the things to figure out your why is to figure out what's that thing that that really stirs up that fire inside. I know I probably said this in another podcast, but like when I'm editing videos and something is like everything's going along nicely, and, and my vision is coming into is it fruition to with fruition it's all laying out i get that fire inside i get so excited that everything that i produce is just now ready to be there and it's like once you feel that fire inside you just don't want to feel anything else Mm -hmm. and i was telling you guys earlier today that um inspire fire is really what makes me have like no anxiety like i look forward to having podcasts with you guys mm-hmm. after work and uh, like my anxiety totally goes away because I'm living in my purpose. But um, that's that's one. 
feeling liberated, but I don't want to keep talking. I feel like I'm going to talk forever. <laughs> but, um, no, you're great. Feeling liberated, you know, doing my thing and, um, you know, being able to have time with my family. And then my second why is Inspire Fire and YouTube is all community based. You know, I want to be able to teach um, children, people, other people's children, the whole world about living this beautiful life of abundance. Mm -hmm. Particularly with me, I want to uplift the black community. I want to, like, change mass incarceration. You know, I want people to be free in their minds, too, so they, they too, can live a life of abundance. I want to be that beautiful connection with other human beings and inspiring them my entire life, you know? That's so true. I'd yeah. like to elaborate on that because literally when I when I see myself, my why, it's exactly that. I just really want to honestly just in, inspire mm-hmm. people that and let them know that they don't have to live the life that they, the, the quote unquote cards that they think they've been dealt. Like there is right, definitely... Right, right, right a way around that and it's you really have to change your your life set i mean your lifestyle and your mindset and just really providing the tools so that you can have the freedom the time freedom the freedom of time because um many people work nine to fives or not even nine to fives just long hours 12 hour days eight Mm -hmm. hour days and it's like really it when we were calculating this earlier Mm -hmm. before we started this podcast Mm -hmm. we were just thinking like Nine hour day, eight hour days are not really eight hour days nope. because you gotta count the time it takes you to get ready for work. Yep. You gotta pick out your outfit, get ready, put your um, shower, groom yourself, however long that takes. And then the drive there, if you live in Houston, y'all know the traffic is like a whole right. another hour in itself. And so, You're so mad. <laughs> exactly. And so it's just like, oh, you want that freedom, that, that type of freedom where you're not confided to having 13 hours you're really doing 13 hours if you can plus because you got to think about meal time right. as well so it's just like it's way longer so when do you have time to spend with those loved ones exactly. that you're doing this for exactly <laughs> just, uh, uh, we just want to change the world basically yeah, pretty much. <laughs> well, we are the ladies of inspired fire yes our dreams our lives are kind of similar to each other exactly, exactly. Okay. for me it took time for me to find my why Mm-hmm. Me too, shout girl. out to ETSA because it really hey, did help out. me find my why. And it was an organization called Voices that mm, really we, lit. it's a volunteering <laughs> organization that is super lit. And so they had different, you know, opportunities for you to volunteer with different organizations or companies mm-hmm. in the San Antonio mm-hmm. area. And I was like, okay, I'm gonna do this. And I would pick certain, like, all of the places that I volunteered with kind of had the same, like, health-related places, mm-hmm. you know, being around McDonald's, certain mm-hmm. things. So this was, I was like, okay, I like the health field. I like enjoying helping right. people. Right. And um, I mentored at the Boys and Girls Club, so I really liked being a mentor and mm-hmm. an example for the younger generation. And so right. that just, I found things that were, like, that made me curious or things right. that that kind didn't of seem like me. work, but something I would, you know, be happy doing. So that's my right and fulfilled. Why. Yes, right. Just yeah, doing that's... things where it's the, it doesn't feel like work, but it's enjoyable. That's true, right. and I like like, and I like how you just use the a organization helps you find your why mm-hmm. because there are many organizations that you can become a part of that have a, a it has it's a keen interest of interest of something mm-hmm. that you enjoy doing, and that can actually direct you in your path, and yeah. and, and ex- not even just direct you, but it can like put you in a position to help you exercise that could have been dormant mm-hmm. in you and you never even knew that you right. enjoyed doing this like imagine if you were to just go take a cooking uh class that mm-hmm. was free it was an organization that mm-hmm. was hosting and you're like wow i didn't know i was really good at this and actually enjoyed mm-hmm. doing this and it's like it doesn't hey, even feel like work actually yeah. do like a, co- a healthy <laughs> cooking workshop that would be really dope that would yeah. be dope that would, that's something <laughs> to put on our to-do exactly list exactly what i did i t- you know i found myself paying attention in certain classes and I'll fall asleep <laughs> in other <laughs> classes. I'm like, oh wait, okay, so I do, I enjoy psychology and I like this. Girl, you know, I love psychology. And, you know, I'm not struggle with that. But you oh know, I just God. found things that I like doing that were easy to me, enjoyable. Mm-hmm. And I stuck with that. And I was like, okay, I'm, yeah. I'm going to go with this. That's beautiful. I really, oh, 
Yeah, <laughs> I really like how she said that her class is like some. She was like, "Ooh, I really like this," and someone like, yeah. "I want to go to sleep and I don't want to be here." <laughs> yeah, you know those classes where you like sit in the front, you ask a question, you right? Yeah, like, yes. like, I really don't. I'm just here to get this grade. All right, I have to do this, and then it's those classes where you like. I right, I want to yeah. make a 112. Even my electives, the electives I chose. I was like, okay, I, I was intentional about everything that That's I That's beautiful. Did. Intentional. I did the opposite. That's why I went. <laughs> no, no, it's not really good though. I would have laughed with no. you, but no. <laughs> I, when I was picking my minor, I asked mm-hmm. mom like, "Oh, should I do um, health and leisure? Because you know I'm into health, mm-hmm. uh, along with my broadcast journalism degree." Or should I do political science? I don't know why the hell I said political science. <laughs> She's like, oh, yeah, you should do political science. Um, So you could do, like, um, broadcasting with political science. Yeah. You're in D.C. Mm-hmm. You know, it makes sense. But I'm thinking, like, so I call my dad, like, okay, that's not the answer I want to hear. <laughs> dad, uh, should I do health leader or should I do um, political science? You're like, oh yeah, you should pull up. <laughs> and I'm like, why ain't nobody telling me uh health leader? Just ask it other people. It never Actually, goes with what you were saying right. earlier. Other people's it, exactly. It why. You're using other people to find your why, and it's <laughs> not your why. It's their why. Exactly, which messed me up because I ended up doing political science, and I will tell y'all right, God dang, you now <laughs> I don't even know what the I'm as keen on political science. Now I don't want to say it's Trump because Trump's stupid as hell, but <laughs> I like I took those classes. The only thing that came good from that class was there was this beautiful man that I met in this class. That was the only thing. I think that's why I got me in this class. But um like I like I would have been way happier and mm-hmm. and more equipped for Inspire mm-hmm. Fire if I would have just took knew in my heart what I really want to say. That's yeah. why your why is really important. You need to make sure it's your why and yeah, not your parents' true. why, not yeah. society's why, mm. but your why because a lot of things we do things because they you know that sound because it, it does sound good like broadcast mm-hmm. for political science you live in dc yeah sounds right great it fits the black and white paper it fits what you know it sounds good but mm-hmm. it wasn't yeah. good for my heart it yeah. wasn't good for me that's awesome but uh wish i wouldn't do that <laughs> i'm glad you figured that <laughs> out that's okay. awesome yeah that but it's a learning out. experience yeah, it, is. it is i mean that was my intent like i said mm-hmm. when i went to college it was to find my passion to mm-hmm. find my why. So, That's yeah. beautiful. Wow, I love yeah. that. Now, now I think like I knew what I wanted to go to college for. It was always journalism, but like a lot of people don't know why they're going to college, and it's okay, right? Like, but I like that you took the time to use college to figure it out. When mm-hmm. people usually think like, oh, I got to know right away. But That's don't. so true because we're pressured with the outside limitations mm-hmm. of the world. And our parents is like, you you just you need to know what you're going to do. You got to have a plan. You got to do mm-hmm. So it's like we don't really, we kind of get, it kind of get lost in the shuffle where we kind of need to just, instead of us taking the time to search like Kobe did to mm-hmm. like figure it out, we're like, we feel like we have to have it all together. Right. Mm-hmm. And it was moments like that because like I said, I did find my passion in health. But I was like, it's so many routes that I could go. Yeah. And I did have Christians, oh, you can be a doctor, you can be a, mm-hmm. a nurse, or you could do this, you know. Mm-hmm. But I was like, mm, I really wasn't feeling it. So it, it did, it was pressure that moment, but you just have it to stay. Hard, it is hard, though. It really is hard. You just have to stay focused and really, really listen to yourself. Yeah. It's hard, though, because um, it is, I mean, just when you're, you're 18, it's true. you don't know exactly mm-hmm. what you want to do, you might think you know what you want to do you might have this passion or whatever but and then but you change and you grow and mm-hmm. you're you, when you're exposed to new things your your interest grows so sometimes maybe that's why people switch their majors like a thousand times mm-hmm. because like oh now i have a interest in health mm-hmm. you know and it's just like i don't even know the real answer to that but mm-hmm. the cool thing about life is you can always change and you don't have to stay with one thing yes you know what I mean? That so you don't have to feel stuck. Like, people get discouraged when they graduate and they're not doing something in their field. Mm-hmm. But, like, so what? <laughs> like, yeah. if, like you're almost, having, if you're doing your love, you're good. Yeah. Right. Almost dang near 80% of the people living, almost, right. it's a really mm-hmm. large percent of people that are not doing what's in their field. Right. Mm-hmm. The main point is to follow your dreams. And if you're going to follow your dreams, you got to go hard for yourself. The Mm -hmm. way you go hard for yourself is remember in the back of your head. Okay, what is my why? What is my purpose? Oh, yes. Okay, so um, I'm part of this Facebook group called Do You Boo, which is formed by Shameless Maya, a YouTuber. And I asked, um, what is your why? 
um, basically what is that thing that motivates you to follow your dreams. And I got this from David Pablo. Um, and he said, my why is that there is purpose in my life. Without purpose, there is no why. Without why, there is no motivation. Without motivation, there is no drive. Without drive, there is no progress. Without progress, there is only stagnation. With stagnation, my days become meaningless. Exactly. I had another Facebook message that really spoke to me as well. I loved her why. It said, right now, her name is Magda. She said, right now, my focus is on creating value. I genuinely like connecting with people and building meaningful relationships. I want to make a positive impact and feel proud that I'm using my skills to do so. I think that's so beautiful because when you have your why, I think you pretty much attract these beautiful relationships and connections like no other. I know for me, um, when I was in the, I had just graduated college and I attended this um, organization called the Self Empowerment Center. And Mm -hmm. I remember that's when I was in the, I had discovered, because I went to school for something almost completely different. Well, actually, it's along the lines. Mm -hmm. But I got my degree in biology, and I knew I wanted to do something health-related, like Mm -hmm. Kobe Mm -hmm. said again. And I was just like, hmm, I know I'm, and this is right when Inspire Fire had barely birthed, and we Mm -hmm. were already teaching classes, and I was just like, this is amazing. We were going to different organizations, and Mm -hmm. so at the Self-Empowerment Center, I've found since I was knowing my why, the laws of attraction was just manifesting abundantly in my life Mm -hmm. because I had been uh, given the opportunity to present naturopathic health journals there Mm -hmm. and work hands-on with some really great spiritual healers and leaders, and so I was just like, this is amazing, so when you know your why, and you're focused on the beautiful connections that you can build in the networking, I think it, it kind of, it kind of goes hand in hand together. Right. And I, I, at the end of the day, I've always said this, it's like, we're as humans, actually, this is funny. (laughs) Uh, I was reading a post that said, I don't even know if this has to do anything, but I was reading a post that said without humans, um, the world would flourish. The animals would flourish. Mm, um, yeah, the the greenery would flourish. Mm-hmm. Um, the water would flourish. You know, we wouldn't be polluting. Like we will literally destroy the earth <laughs> as humans. But so, what are we here for, right? And mm-hmm. I really think. And why are we? Why are there so many of us? And and I really feel. And we're all connected, right? Right. I really feel like, and that's why most of our wives is our family and our friend is people. And I feel like um, community is such a huge thing. And I really believe that we're here to build beautiful relationships and to connect with people and really help each other along the way. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't know where that leads us into your why or anything, but I think everybody's why ends up being people in the end of things because because i mean it it goes back to what she says Mm -hmm. she she says about creating value the Mm -hmm. connections making an impact right and basically what i got from that is we all have these certain skills we all Mm -hmm. have certain strengths Mm -hmm. and if we use those you know if you use it if you don't use it you lose it so right right, right. using them you can impact the, the people around you. Yeah. And then it makes, it brings value to them, to yourself. And then mm. right, that can become your why. So you can even just look at your skills. Right. I love your that. And even with Inspire Fire, like we, the way we all came together, we all went to school. We got mm. three different degrees. Yeah. And each one of us can bring and add assets to mm-hmm. Inspire Fire as a whole in mm-hmm. ways that each one of us couldn't do without the other. Mm-hmm. Right. That's true. That's so true. I love that you said that the skills part mm-hmm. because I know a lot of times we be trying to do like you know when we go back to doing someone else's why we try to do other people's skills mm-hmm. and or we try to do what someone else does because it looks cool when it's really not your why. And I love that you said like using your be- your skill your your passions. Mm-hmm. It's like you actually are like holding yourself back and actually you're being selfish because the world needs what you have like Mm -hmm. you living in your purpose 
it's going to be better for the worst world. So if everyone's living in their purpose and just sending out these beautiful vibes of happiness, because if you're living your purpose, you're happy and you're exactly. successful, the world is really going to change. At the end of the day, if you're really living, living your why and your right. purpose, you are emitting beautiful frequencies. And I, I could see this in my own life. Uh, my mom, um, she was saying, oh, I'm going to do great things, too, because you and Jeremy are doing great things. It's not too late for me. I'm going to be this. I'm going to be that. Mm, yeah. and, she, and, like, you don't really realize that, like, you were encouraging by you just doing, starting your own thing or you doing you mm-hmm. is um, inspiring, inspiring someone, else. Yeah. someone like your your mom, you mm-hmm. know? That's beautiful. Yeah. That's so, so And everyone beautiful. else, because, like, we get this all the time. People coming up to us like, hey, I like what you're doing. I'm like, what you're doing? We're like, why aren't you liking our stuff? So many people do people come to me and like, I love what you yeah. inspire. Y'all are inspiring me. Like, we have inspired a couple of our friends to like mm-hmm. literally mm-hmm. stop what they're doing, what they went to school for, and just like go in a whole other direction. We, and- yes, we inspire <laughs> people to actually quit their jobs before we even quit our jobs. And go out there and be like, dang. I'm going to need us to inspire us more than. <laughs> yeah. Like, so, yeah, that's so beautiful. That, like, there's only one you. And it, imagine if, this, if, you, if you look at it like this. If the trees were trying to be the river mm-hmm. and the river was trying to be the sun, the whole solar ecosystem would just Messed be out up. of work. Mm-hmm. So why are we messing up our human solar i mean ecosystem rather right. by just doing the world world a disservice by not bringing to what we have to offer to right. the table it's just like a lot of people always um i get into not debates but conversations with people and mm-hmm. they're like i wish the basketball players would speak up more like this person or the mm-hmm. actors or the singers or the rappers yes. i was like that's not their craft their right. craft is to play basketball and that's how they can inspire you exactly. through their skill and craft the rappers can inspire you through their rap songs like hey i'm doing this why can't you get on your grind and right like, it's like everybody wants a handout like they should just donate x amount of money to right. this or that and that it's like they're inspiring you, showing you that it's possible to do it. So go ahead and do it. Right. I you were right. I I see that all the time. Like they should be doing this, 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 this. Hey, um, maybe that's what are you doing? Maybe that's community. your yeah. maybe that's your why. Yeah, that's your why. <laughs> exactly. Everybody's you know? why is different. Like you can do right. it with somebody down the street. You like so? What are you doing for your community? Right. Exactly. That is so true. Like it starts with you. Ooh, with you are right. You are so right. <laughs> That's crazy. I see that all the time. Sometimes I even do that. Like, can y'all just... But you don't even know what people are doing behind the scenes. And that's another reason why you should be on your why. Because you don't know their grind. You don't. Because only media and and us in general, like, people are not going to... Social media is like a form of media. So how the media decides what they want to feed us, we, like, in our own personal world, we decide what we want to feed to the public with our social media. Mm -hmm. So although we may put up all the happy pictures and stuff, we don't show the countless hours of us staying awake till 8 o'clock, waking up in the morning, grinding, working on these types of things that we're doing. We just put the finished product. Always. Mm -hmm. Always. So you never know the why until you do the backstory. That is very true. So. (sighs) I guess guess advice would be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you're young, to find your why, to find your passion and your purpose and what makes you happy. And if you've already, you know, if you're working or in a career and you're not happy, then to find, you know, to still, it's not too late. You can still mm-hmm. find your why. Right. So you might be in that job and you still want to do something else. Like you still have to grind and find a way mm-hmm. and a solution to get to that beautiful passion and dream that you've been waiting on. And it doesn't even have to be a career. It could be like finding a wife or a husband or having a family or being mm-hmm. healthy or mm-hmm. having peace of mind. It's not always like a career. Yes, it's absolutely not. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Why do you want to be healthy? Yeah. You know, is it because you want to see your kids grow older? Your grandkids? Right. You know? mm-hmm. That is so true. Did you have a family history of diabetes or yeah? You know, so what is it? That's so true. And knowing when you do find your why, that 
the lifestyle you once lived when you didn't have a why is going to be a completely different lifestyle. It'll, and I say that because it's going to be more disciplined. Disciplined in the best way, though. It's going to be, a, you know how they say, fall in love with the process? So it's like, it's not going to feel like you're dragging yourself or you're pulling yourself or it's something hard to do. It's going to be something, a discipline that you love. Like if you have children, it's your discipline. You're disciplining yourself to know that you have to feed them. You want to feed them. You actually, it's a, something you enjoy. You enjoy feeding and mm-hmm. helping your family and any being a service to them in any way you can. Yeah. So it's just... When you find your why, it's it's going to be something that almost comes natural to you. And it could have been something that you just let go over your head and it's been there all along. So you yeah. might really just need to do some praying, some meditating, some soul searching. And ask for discernment because I pray for discernment all the time. I pray for guidance through spiritual direction all the time. Um, my me- mentor always told me, like, pray for love wealth and access through led by spiritual direction Mm -hmm. and i use that to this day and i'm just like my why has just it's it's constantly changing because the more you're exposed to something like tiffany said earlier when you're exposed to some things that's why your mind may change because if you've never known something in the past how could you fault yourself for wanting to change your mind right if you never even knew that this was out there even existed so I definitely think your why may not be concrete. It may be something temporary to propel you to the next level of your why. It's, so it's no right or wrong answers when trying to find a why. So everybody may think it needs to be this concrete, this thing. It might has to be this infinite thing. Don't get caught up in that because you'll end up living someone else's why. That's true. Yeah, I totally agree with that because um, I know someone who... Because sometimes your your why can be imprinted on other people, and you start to think like, hey, why why do you want to have this nine to five job, or why why you you should be going after your dreams? I could see me saying that to people like, like hey, I want to make sure they're going and living their dreams, but I have to realize that their dreams are not mine. They're they're not mm-hmm. worried about being an entrepreneur. They're worried about okay. Sometimes they just want that simple and. I don't want to say simple, it's a bad, that simple, just nice, I want to go to work, I want to come home to my wife, and I want to, you know, have children, have a, like, a simple, beautiful life full of love with my family, and... And And love is a beautiful thing. Right, right. It's, like, the most powerful emotion that ever Exactly. (laughs) And that's what people's wives are, and you can't fault them for that my ass like I want to do this I want to do that <laughs> and people might be like calm down like I, you know they just struck something struck a chord in me so mm-hmm. when you think of your why you should think of things you love because mm-hmm. whatever mm-hmm. you love whatever you love is going to influence your why yeah. right I was yeah. going to say that too a tip could be you know maybe whatever like look at your history what are you searching or what do you read like look at the books that you have what do you find yourself going to or get, uh, gravitating to daily because that mm-hmm. could be your your why or your passion mm-hmm. right why? or maybe like our auntie oprah what are you hey. resisting mm, they could be oprah. something that people are constantly telling you, oh you're good at this you're you're you, know, you should yeah, yeah. Open up that restaurant sure. like you're a cook. You know, you should great cook. You should start a restaurant. Yeah, you like know, Jasmine, or... you should start doing motivational health speeches yeah. on Instagram. So yeah, a lot of people like <laughs> recommending <laughs> or you know complimenting you or telling you, hey, I like your scarf. Like you make, you can make yeah, right. or niche stuff, and they're like, hey, I really like that. So what That's is it? so true? And it's the stuff that kind of like comes to you easily. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like something you have to really work on, but like those things. I think I was reading something and it was saying a way to find your why or your purpose is to really think about your strengths mm-hmm. and focus on those things. And, you know, uh, there's, I hear Gary V say this, the Gary Vayner show, um, and he says, like, people usually want to, like, they don't focus on their strengths a lot. Sometimes they're just trying to pick up other skills. But sometimes it's just easier to hone in on your strengths and have a teammate mm-hmm. who could fill in, the blanks like yeah. if I'm not organized I have Jasmine's here but I could create like a mo you know That's so it's so like true. I think finding your 
your why is doing stuff that comes easy to you in a way mm-hmm. and really honing in on those strengths. That's so true that you said that because one of my mentors, he did definitely stress that. He's saying, he, um, this was, I hope I don't butcher this wrong, but he said a master, well, we called it a master. So it's like, fear not the master. I'm probably going to misquote this, but this <laughs> is the premise of it. So fear the ma- don't fear the master that has a thousand different kicks and punches. Fear the master that has crafted that one kick and that can like mm. kick you to Pluto. Right. <laughs> like right. seriously. Yes. Because it's like you got all these moves. Even if you're on the, <laughs> I play basketball, so it's like you on the court doing all this. Right. Crossing all, all right. the way. Like, <laughs> like this one girl we used to play with. <laughs> Ball, but it's like just get the ball in the hoop, you guys. Right, get the ball in the hoop. But the thing is, like with her quickness, if she wasn't doing all that, she could really like, be like, okay, like I'm done. She could really be like hooping, like seriously, like she sometimes, been. yeah. She could have been, but if she just honing in on that strength, started doing all that whoop hoop la, something. <laughs> no, that's true. Ooh. But yes. That's true. I think and that's it goes back to like people too. You honing on your strengths. Mm -hmm. You're honing we're all if you're a team, they're everybody's honing in on their different strengths to make one powerful, beautiful team. And you'll get there faster. Exactly. And greater in quality. Like don't stress like if you wanna get better on some of your weaknesses, that's cool to work on that. Mm -hmm. But I think you should really focus on like your strengths stuff that comes easy for you that's so mm-hmm. true um another thing that they said that helps you focus on get your why is what makes you come alive we kind of touched on that already like what what's that thing that you do that really sets your soul on fire mm-hmm. like you get excited like right. you start thinking about all the worries in the world and you just in your zone right that that that's that's more like your purpose or your passion more than your why. But the why could be like, I want to feel like this all the time. I want to mm-hmm. feel this this awesome all the time. Mm-hmm. I, I want to bring up Gary Vee again because he says like, he just loves to grind so much. And that can exhaust someone else. But he like thrives off of the grind. Right. That's yeah. true. And he's like a millionaire. And uh, he like, um, and he runs his own business. And he doesn't have to do, like, these motivational talks. Like, he, he has, all like, more money than he needs. But he still comes back to that community thing where he helps us to go after our dreams. Mm-hmm. But, um... That's beautiful. I guess that's part of his why, to help other people. I think that at the end of the day, that's what we are trying to do. Yeah. Right. So, I think people are definitely important because people can give you love. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's like, and it goes back to what that girl said, how can I add value mm-hmm. to my community or to my, if you are in a job city, to my job? That's true. That can, that can be someone's why. Right. So like, what can I add to, to this organization or to this company? Mm-hmm. That could draw someone. That could be someone's why. Like, I get up every day to right. Right. make this company run or make this company better, this community better. Yeah. Wow. I'm totally with it. I think we hit everything. I just wanted to end it real quick um, because we were talking about this earlier. Is um, like success. When you look at people's success, you have to realize that success comes in different forms. And if you are living out your purpose, everyone has a different purpose, right? Right. And when you're living out your purpose, that equals success. Because if you're living out your purpose, you're happy. Which is success. So you can't look at someone else and be like, they're successful or they're successful or I want that success. You have to look inside yourself and really figure out what your purpose is to get that success. Because everyone's success is different. It's not one thing. Exactly. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. I want y'all to leave a beautiful comment below and let us all know what your why is. Instagram us at Inspire Fire Daily <laughs> or um, tweet us at Inspire Fire underscore and let us know what your why is. Because we would love to hear your whys to inspire others and let them know that all whys do not have to be the same. No, they are definitely not. So y'all know how we end this thing. How we end this thing. With some beautiful affirmations. affirmations. I am 
being <laughs> myself mm. every second every hour every day i am happy being me yes. and doing whatever i set my mind to i am so happy and grateful Great. that all of my friends add value to my life